Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the My Life is Eva collection with Colourpop Cosmetics. I picked up everything in this collection today and I'll be showing you guys two demos, one on each palette. I'll also be giving you guys my review and my thoughts on each of the items. I'll be giving you guys swatches, you know, just the whole rundown what we do here on this channel. But before we get started, let's address the elephant in the room. I dyed my hair back to my natural hair color. It's a little bit darker than my natural hair color, honestly. I feel like this is more of like a pitch black and my natural hair color is like a very dark, dark, dark black brown. What do you guys think of the new hair? I'm loving it. It's like fall, winter hair, and I just kind of want to buy a lot of black clothes and wear black all the time because it's a vibe. I'm really enjoying the change. I've been telling you guys I just want a change with my hair. I had that blonde for like a little too long. I'm pretty sure I will go back to blonde eventually, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy the dark side, give my hair a little break because I feel like it really needs it. But enough talk about my hair. Let's go ahead and get started with the review. So first, let's get started with some product info and what is actually in this collection and all of the prices. So the first two things are eyeshadow quads. She came out with two and this is $12 each. They're in the new ColourPop quad packaging. I don't know if you guys remember, but their old quad packaging was so bulky and so chunky. So I'm really glad they revamped everything. The first quad is called It's All Wild. And this is more of the warm orangier quad. It does come with a mirror. So I think it's great for its value. $12 for four eyeshadows and a mirror as well. This quad comes with three mattes and one shimmer shadow. And then we have Vacation Mode. This one is more of the cool tone purple quad. It has two mattes and kind of two metallic satin shades in here. Next up, we have the face duo called Mermaid Glow. This is $10. Comes with a blush and a highlighter and also a mirror as well. I actually thought this was very, very small when I first got it. I thought the face duo would be a little bit bigger, but I mean, it's very compact and it's really nice. It's enough product, honestly. And then the last couple of things in the collection are her lip colors. So you can get her lip colors individually or you can get it in a lip bundle. The lip bundle is called She's a Beach Babe. So these are her lip colors that she came out with. If you get it in the lip bundle, it is 15 US dollars. And if you wanna get it individually, then it is six US dollars. Two ultra butter lip and one ultra glossy lip. So now that we've got all the product info out of the way, let's get started with my thoughts on each of the items. I just wanna kinda round up this whole collection and my thoughts on it before we start talking about each individual product. I think this collection is a very safe collection and I'm not saying that in a bad way but I do think that this is a very safe collection. All of the colors are very wearable, it's very everyday and it's very simple you know. I feel like anyone could pull this off but in another aspect all of these shades are very very dupable. Um, you might have something very similar in your collection already. Everything from this collection I think is it is so well done. I think it's great for a girl on the go and I think that's what Eva wanted to do. Eva or Ava, I say Eva, Kiwi accent. I think that's what Eva wants to do. She travels so much. I personally don't watch her so I'm not really sure what she's about but I've seen her Instagram and she looks like a travel blogger. I get that from this collection. It's very compact, very easy to travel with and just the shades in here are just great for traveling. Okay, so let's start talking about the eyeshadow quads first because I feel like that is the most exciting thing. Let's just get it all out out of the way. I mean, guys, this is just this is just like my kind of quad, you know? I'm not a big fan of quads, I'm more into palettes, but if I was to create a quad, this is what my quad would look like. It's very, very close to what I would create myself. So you just get what you would need, you know? And I created this cut crease look with just these four shadows and I think that is awesome. So you get a transition shade here, although I do think it's a little bit too dark to be a transition shade, but you can make it work. You get this beautiful burnt orange, a deep chocolate brown, and a metallic shade. It's like a good quad. But then again, all of these shades, I do have something very, very similar in different palettes from Colourpop, from other brands. So it's very dupable, 
but I do think it's a good quad and if color pots formula you guys know I freaking love them so it's all wild highly recommend I love it but if you guys already have a lot of warm tone eyeshadow palettes then obviously I wouldn't say go buy it it's not necessary and then we have vacation mode I thought I wasn't gonna like this one because if you guys watch me a lot I don't like cool tones but I really like the eye look that I created with this quad and it's not really more purple like this shadow here the darkest one I thought it'd be more like a dark plum but this is more navy on the eyes and I thought that was very interesting the color combos in here is very well done you can create a good solid eye look with this but yeah I was really surprised at myself that I actually like this palette and I think I actually might use it here and there I'm not just gonna like store it away and collect this again I feel like it is very dupable shades I mean if you want to get a cool tone quad this is a good way to go. I was surprised at myself for actually liking this. So yeah, for the eyeshadow quads, I definitely think they are worth it. $12, it comes with a mirror. Very slim and compact, easy to travel with. The formula is amazing. What else can I say? I highly recommend it. I really enjoy these. Then let's talk about the face duo called Mermaid Glow. This is so tiny and it's so cute. I love the blush. I am so obsessed with the blush. The blush that I always use is the Wet n Wild mellow wine blush it's the only blush I use in any of my videos I don't use any other blush and I think this is going to be my next go-to blush it's very very similar to the wet n wild one but I feel like it's a bit more pinky but I love it on the skin I have it on my cheeks today and then we have the highlighter I do like this highlighter it's not too metallic it's kind of more like a glow within like compared to the Colourpop in Nudendo palette that one is more metallic, high shine, very wet looking. But this one is its quite wet looking. It's there, you know it's there. But it's kind of like a glow from within. And it gives me that kind of beach vibe. Formula might not be for everyone. But I do like it on my skin tone. I thought it was going to be a little bit too gold on me. But because of my yellow and golden undertones, I think it really does complement my skin really nicely. There is no grey shadows from any angle that I look at. This is just like a really, really good face doer, and for $10. And then we move on to the lip colors. Ever since they initially launched Ultra Butter Lips, they haven't released any new shades. So ever since that launch, this is the only new colors they came out with. I did do a whole video on the Ultra Butter Lips, if you guys are interested in seeing that. I will leave it in a card for you somewhere here, and also a link down below. I personally do like the Ultra Butter Lips. I know it's not going to be for everyone. So pretty much the best way I can describe the Ultra Blood Lip is that it's a matte lip tint. So if you guys ever try lip tints, they're usually like a bit more glossy. These dry down very, very matte. I think they are so comfortable and they feel very, very lightweight. The only downside to the Ultra Blood Lip is that you get butthole lips like real quick. But other than that, I think they're very, very comfortable. And my favorite shade is Zuma and Dozy. Those two shades I wear all the time. I keep it in my top drawer. Out of the two, I really like this one, Party Wave. I think it's just a pretty burnt nude. Burnt peachy nude. Yeah. Burnt peachy terracotta nude. That's what I would describe it. And I think it's just so flattering on the skin, especially with the eyeshadow palette. Also, um, Love Bite is a really pretty, more of a cool tone, neutral pink. These two I would highly, highly recommend as well. I absolutely love it. And then we have the Ultra Glossy Lip in Just Surfed. So I love the Ultra Glossy Lip formula from ColourPop. I really do. Aquarius is my favorite one. But this one is kind of more of like a metallic lip and it just has so much glitter and it's just it's not for me maybe for like a specific Halloween look or more of a creative look this might come in handy but for every day this is just not for me it's just way too metallic it has too much glitters in it and it's just too metallic for me on the lips and I'm not into that but if you are you might like this it has more of like a bronze base with silver glitters but yeah everything else I truly love I know I'm going to use all the time and I'm sure that you guys will love it as well like I said it's a very safe collection you're not really pressing too much boundaries so yeah that is going to conclude my review portion it was a very positive review and I feel really good about it I just truly love everything that was in this collection that being said if you guys want to see the two demos that I created and some swatches then just continue watching watching.
First up, I'm just gonna take the shade Teeny Bikini and this is going to be our transition shade. I'm just putting this straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions. And then I will take a clean blending brush just to blend out the edges using circular motions. Next up, I'm taking the shade Round Trip and this is going into the outer corner of our eye. First, I'm just going to stamp it on just to get the initial pigment and then I'm going to slowly start blending out using swiping slash circular motions and what is ever left on our brush, we will slowly bring it into the inner third of our eye but focusing most of the product in the outer V. Next up, I'm taking the shade Mahalo and this is going into the inner third of our eye where we left blank previously. I am using this shade wet just to get the most metallic shine from it, but you definitely could use it dry if you wanted to. And then I just like to go back in with the shade round trip just to blend the matte and the shimmer together. That way you don't see where one shadow starts and ends. Everything just kind of seamlessly blends all together. Then I'll be using the highlight shade called Shotgun and this is going into the inner corners of my eye and also on my brow bone. I'm also going to take this into the inner corner of my lid space as well just to brighten up the Mahalo shade, just a teeny weeny. And now I'm just going to line my eyes like how I usually would if I was to give myself a wing liner. I'm using my Inglot AMC 77 gel liner. It's the gel liner that I always use. And then we'll be going back into the shade Round Trip and we're going to use this on an angled brush and we're going to start smoking out that liner that we just placed down into the shadow, meshing everything together, kind of creating a smoky wing. I'm going in with an angled brush and then slowly blending it out with more of a pencil brush. Still using the same shade around Trip, I'm going to use this for my lower lash line color as well, just smoking it out from inner to outer corner. Quickly taking the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade No Shame and I'm just going to line my lower waterline with this. Going into the Mermaid Glow Face Duo, I'm going to take the blush first and apply this to the apples of my cheeks, blending it back into my bronzer. Taking the highlight shade, I'm going to use this to highlight the tops of my cheekbones and also the bridge of my nose. And this is the completed look for the Vacation Mode Eyeshadow Quad. For lashes, I am wearing the Serene Light from House of Lashes. And for my lip color, I decided to pair it with Love Bite, the Ultra Butter Lip from this collection. I just feel like the cool toneness of the lip color really goes along with the eyeshadows. Um, so yeah, that is the look completed for look number one.
first we will be taking the shade tan lines and this is going to be our transition shade this shade is a little bit too dark to be a transition shade initially so make sure you're just taking your time blending this out I would first place this down straight with my fluffy blending brush into my crease using one shot wiping motions and then I just like to take a clean blending brush just to further blend out the edges making sure that there are no harsh lines then we'll be using the shade Malibu and this is going into the outer third of our eye. I'm going to first place the most pigment there and then what is ever left on my brush, I'm slowly going to bring it into the inner third of my crease, making sure that we have a little bit of depth for our cut crease later on. And then we'll be taking the shade Bonfire and the same kind of technique just with a smaller brush. I'm going to first place the most pigment in the outer corner of our eyes and what is ever left on our brush I just like to bring it into the inner third. I like to go in with my previous brushes just to make sure everything is nice and blended out. Taking some concealer on the back of my hand, I'm going to start cutting out my crease. I'm going to first place the concealer in the inner third of my lid and then I'm going to map out where I think the cut crease should go. I'm going to look up and this is going to mark a line of the highest point of my crease and if I go up to this mark, that will ensure that I will have no transfer. I like to go in with a thinner brush and just to really cut out that crease and make sure everything is nice and sharp and then we'll be taking the shade passport and this is going right on top of the concealer I didn't set the concealer down I wanted to make sure that the concealer was a little bit tacky that way any shadow that you place on top is just going to stick on and stay on for a longer period of time Going back in with the shade Malibu, I'm just going to use the shade to blend the metallic shadow and the dark matte all together. I feel like this is the part where the cut crease really comes together and it looks very blended and smoky. I just like to swipe and pat the color on, that way we are getting pigment and also some blend. Using the highlighter from the Face Duo, I'm actually going to use this as an eyeshadow and just taking a very thin lip brush i'm just going to go right up against that crease line and this is going to create a little bit of a gradient between the two metallic shadows and it's going to define the crease as well using the shade malibu once again i'm going to use this to smoke out my lower lash line just from inner to outer corner making this very smoky and connecting it with the eyeshadow on top Going back into the shade Bonfire, I'm going to use this to define my lower lash line. I'm really going to press this under my waterline just to define the lower lash line a little bit more to match it up with the dramaticness on our lids. Just like the previous look, I'm going to use the blush on the apples of my cheeks, blending it back into my bronzer and then taking the highlighter once again, just going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose. And this is the completed look for the It's All Wild eyeshadow quad. For lashes, I am wearing the Serene Light from House of Lashes once again. And for my lip color, I decided to pair it with Party Wave from the collection. And this is the final completed look. And that guys is going to wrap up my review for today. I hope you guys enjoyed everything from the review to the swatches to the demo. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up for me. I would seriously appreciate it so, so much. And also I want you guys to comment down below your thoughts on this collection. 
Did you guys like it? What did you guys pick up? Are you going to pick up anything? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below because I'm a happy camper with this collection and I want to know your thoughts as well. But that is everything for my video today. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!